Outside Biba's restaurant in Midtown Sacramento today, patrons were just learning the news. Oh, it's really sad. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. Oh. Biba, the celebrity chef before the term was even invented, was a pioneer in the restaurant business. She authored nine best-selling cookbooks and was loved and admired by her loyal staff. She's your grandmother, she's your aunt, she's your mom, she's the one that you come to for a hug. Biba knew good food and how to entertain. Her secret recipe, though, was making patrons feel special. She was really engaging, gregarious, lovable. She remembered things about everybody. She came to the table every time and said hi to me and, uh, and us, you know, and uh, told us what was best on the menu that day. The restaurant was a home away from home for Biba, the center of her universe, along with her family, which includes grandson Andrew Elkins. She touched a lot of people in Sacramento. Everybody has a good thing to say about her. I loved her a lot. We all loved her. And despite her ailments, Biba was at the restaurant up to the very end. She was here about a month ago. I mean, she was in her mid-80s, and she was here once a day, twice a day, almost every day. Biba's legacy lives on through her restaurant and her patrons. As long as this restaurant is around, she will never be forgotten. And Biba's staff is carrying on her tradition today. We just hope that, you know, wherever she is going, she's entertaining and cooking for everyone. Funeral arrangements are still pending for Biba, but the restaurant is open for business tonight. Some patrons telling me they're going to order some signature items off the menu, including liver and onions, and of course, lasagna. In Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.